Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. On this January 7th, it's uh, turning out to be sunny-ish. We did have a little precipitation this morning, a tiny bit of snow, and maybe hopefully not too much rain. Our snow will be gone, but we have a nice blue sky. And it's not too windy, so maybe it'll be okay on our dog walk. <laughs> Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. I'm looking around, I do not have any props to show you. Oh, I could show you this again. <clears throat> I did not pick this up, but I will, because I'm hoping to stitch on it. Christie's Temperature Dragon. Hoping to stitch on it tonight, so I will go rummage around and find one of my old temperature patterns project bags and it should be all set to go because well I have to find a Ada to use I have to read the pattern and see how big it ends up being so I know what what I want to do with it anyway that's my only prop oh <sighs> what did I do yesterday well I started on my lemons I did peel my lemons But then I forgot to process them last night, so I'm going to do that today. And, well, it was a little bit of a mindless, yarny thing. I wound lots and lots of my minis from my advent. I find winding minis to be kind of annoying. So I guess it was just sort of like, let me just get it over with. <laughs> and I was watching violent revenge movies. I watched Equalizer 2 and um, John Wick. Equalizer 3 and John Wick 2. John Wick is just biting all the time. So, you know, I wasn't even necessarily looking a lot. Because I had to untangle my yarn and stuff. But anyway... Uh, they're violent. They're, you know, I do like the equalizer though. I'm a big Denzel Washington fan and, you know, don't do it. Just leave these people alone. And then they don't. And so he takes care of it. But so I wound a lot of minis. Actually, my arm was a little achy last night, so I overdid it. But feels like, you know, it's all settled and I can put the minis in my um, blanket bag. Actually, I only have about this much more to go to crochet off my old blanket onto my new blanket. Maybe I'll focus on that a little bit after I finish my hat so I can start new yarns. And maybe I'll start with my advent. Not, not Megan's. Um, I'm still cogitating on what I want to do with Megan's yarns because they're all so wonderful and they feel like they just would go together so beautifully. Just try to, and I probably have 200 grams of her yarn left. So <clears throat> if I paired it with another yarn, I could do something really amazing with that. Although those greens, just having a green cowl, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm not putting them in my blanket. I know that. Not that my blanket isn't worthy, it is. So today I'm going to be making my lemon juice, finishing it. Uh, Dennis wants to make some of our carnivore bread, so we'll make that. And then, um, and then I guess I'm going to be crafting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be crafting. Hope, hopefully it'll work out that Christy and I can craft together. But if it doesn't, I may still at that time start my January, which starts here. I mean, it's already the 7th. By the end, by the time I 
I'm ready to do this. I could even do the seventh because, you know, I will have had the high of the day by then. I'm just trying to think how I will manage it and keep track. I think I'm going to end up with a lot of situations like this where the colors just meld because the high of the day is going to be the same for a few days in a row. That happens here a lot, especially when you're using a range. You know, it might be 32 and then the next day it's 33. You know, I mean, those are going to be the same color kind of deal. Um, <clears throat> So I'm just, it just occurred to me that I might, might be, have a little trouble remembering what days I've done. So I'm thinking that I might um, just print out a calendar for January and write the temperatures in the calendar and then cross them off as I do them, and then I can keep track of which days I've done because they might start to, you know, just sort of go together there. Wow. Thinking is part of the planning, right? Okay, so anyway, anyway, so it's bright outside today. That's nice. We did take the dogs for a walk yesterday in the snow, and of course, just as we got in the car, um, the snow turned a little sleety. And so we walked in very windy, sleety snow, which was not that much fun, although I do love to take a walk while it's snowing. When it's just straight out snowing, I love to walk in the snow because it's not very cold and it's quiet. There's a kind of a quiet on a snowy day when it's snowing. It's a special kind of snowy quiet. You know, just like you, people will say, and I've said it to you, it smells like snow. Well, there's a snow sound too, and it's just like quiet. Very quiet. So I love walking in the snow. This, you know, windy sleet, not quite so much. But we did go, and... Uh, Mace does not seem to be affected. Oh, she's not down here. I'll show you. <clears throat> she uh, got trimmed. Her hair's now about that long. And I was a little worried that she'd be cold. But Dennis and Gabby, our groomer, assured me that a big dog like her, she's not going to be cold. And she gave no indication that she was cold. And I wouldn't be surprised if she was out on the deck lying in the snow right now. So... She is doing just fine in the weather, but the dogs don't care. You know, if it's too windy and too sleety, then, you know, it annoys them, especially Pearl because of her sticky, uppy ears. Um, sometimes she doesn't like windy rain either, like even if it's not cold because of her ears. Maisie has floppy ears, and so she doesn't care. She's built for the water. She's built for the water, so... She doesn't care. Anyway, so we walk the dogs. We'll be walking them again. Um, normally, I just slip on some slip-on shoes that are a little bit like clogs. Well, they're clogs. They're not wooden, but they're clogs. But on days like yesterday, I have to wear my shoes that are never wrong. We call my shoes that are never wrong. They're not always right, but they're never wrong for a walk. And I left them right here. <clears throat> These are my shoes that are never wrong. They're waterproof. Mm -hmm. And I left them here because I knew I was going to have to wear them again today and not to go dig them out of the closet. I only wear them about half a dozen, dozen times a year. I take my shoes off as soon as I walk in the door and put my slippers on. I don't like to. I don't mind walking around in my shoes. They're perfectly comfortable. But I do a lot of sitting with my feet up, and I don't like to do that in shoes. So I'm rarely wearing shoes in the house, which is my excuse for not being able to take the dog's food out onto the deck in the rain and the snow. <laughs> it works. Anyway. 
So all is well here. Dennis's brother Gary called his mother this morning, and that was good. He hasn't been here for a while, but he's been hasn't been so well. He got went on vacation with his son and got sick. And so he's in recovery. But it was good to talk to him for a minute and then pass him off to his mother. <laughs> That's all that's happened today. It's, you know, it's early for us. <laughs> it's early for us. So I will say goodbye. I'm just rambling. Just rambling. And I will show you my temperature dragon tomorrow. Come hell or high water or whether I get a chance to craft with Christy or not. I'm going to kind of do a final inventory of the yarns that I got in my advents and um, maybe I'll just put them in my blanket bag. I'm not sure. I have to put them somewhere so a blanket bag wouldn't be bad. I'd know where to find them if I wanted to do something else with them. So, there you go. Yeah, please take good care of yourselves. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Or Monday. For those of you in the other day zone. Stay safe and stay sane. Oops, where's the